Since Westwood Metro has had a big update and changed a lot, I thought I would redo my secrets video. So here I am at airport to do secrets of the city line. So here at airport there are two things to mention. The first one is um, that this station and Westwood Central are the two deepest stations on the whole entire network. And then the second one, um, you can't actually see if you are a passenger, but if you go down to the depot, there are the two tracks with the trains and the glass wall so you can actually look through and see the other train. Also, while the distance between Westwood Airport and Alders Estate is the longest, we wanted to point out that in 1.0 the train was refurbished and a wheelchair bay was added. Now here, Alders Estate was obviously named after the head of high ranks, Aldershot Fan 07, and if you go up to street level, next to the building, there is a statue of Aldershot Fan 07. Now there's not many secrets here at Westwood Central, but it is the station with the most interchanges on the whole game. Altogether, it has got three things running to it, the city line, the castle line and main line. Now the next secret at Westwood Lane is visible out the train window. As it, as, as it pulls into the station, the tunnel will actually open up and you see a train spotting area, but then the wall comes back for the station. Remembering the old days where the train spotting area was actually the city line depot and Westwood Central didn't exist, we then departed. Burnside Road is a nice station that has an open roof, but the best part is if you go up to street level, because up here you can go across the road and you can watch the trains down below and also see benches dedicated to different people. And after a couple of miles travelled underground, the city line finally goes above ground after Burnside Road onwards to East Hampton. Now this station, East Hampton, has a couple of secrets to it. The first one is that there is actually evidence of there being an old platform here as there is still pebble here from the old platform. The other secret is one that probably nobody actually knows but did you know before version 1.0 these platforms used to be smooth plastic but then to make them look better they were turned into concrete. Departing East Hampton, we also remembered that East Hampton to Hampton is the shortest distance between two stations. It takes less than half a minute to travel. Now Hampton Station doesn't have much difference between East Hampton and here. But there is one thing to mention, this station does actually have an interchange and that's to Mainline. This station, Coastal Parkway, also doesn't have much unique about it, apart from the fact that there are only two ticket barriers here, making it very congested in rush hour. And then we travel to the last station. And finally, we are at the end of the city line. Um, here at Westwood Coast, there are a couple of things to mention. The first fact is that this station isn't only busy for the people that want to vis visit the beach, it is also busy for people that like shopping as there are lots of shops here 
And the last thing is that before 1.0, there used to be ticket barriers, but for some reason, they were removed. So that's the end of our long journey on the city line. I'm now going to take this train a long way to get back home.